actually require oh, a mask in order to yeah. enter the building oh no uh, I'm just gonna be real quick I just saw the discount sign so I'll be quick I just need yeah I understand but you can't come into the building without a mask on I'm sorry we can't um, it'll can't. be really quick and I don't need to wear a mask <laughs> um, it'll be really quick I just need to get glasses I'm a paying customer I know so uh, let's, it's just, let's just get girl let me call you back it's just Hold our on. policy let me call you back yeah it's um, just our policy ma'am I hope you understand uh, okay, so I drove a very long way. Mm -hmm. this, this is my second time coming because, you know, there is a sale going on. So I drove a very long way for right. the second time, right. and now I'm being told to leave. <laughs> well, I'm just letting you know that you can come back with a mask uh -huh. on, and then we'll be able to um, give you service. Yeah, so I don't I mean, have a mask. says it on the I door as well. I don't have time. I'm on a time crunch. I need to just get glasses and go. Right. Um, we actually, there's a store right by here mm -hmm. um, that you can go pick up a mask from, and then you can come back. I mean, it says it on the door. It's it's right here. We okay, yeah. I, I, I'm not really, it doesn't matter to me. Um, so, okay. you know um, what? Um, excuse me, brother. Look, uh, just count me out a little. Um, um, I, don't have a, I... I don't have a mask on. I will not go and get one because I don't have time. I came very far to come here. Ma'am, I take really need you to put a mask on, please. Of the deals that you have, I would like for someone to service We me. would love to help you. I just need you to put a mask on, please. I don't have time. Ma'am, you're a little too close. I don't close. have time. Please calm down. Just please get a mask on, and we would love I'm to help you. I am trying to stay calm, but no one is helping me. Let me talk to your manager. Where's the manager? Where's the owner? I need to talk to somebody. I'm trying to spend money. I'm trying to give you money for some glasses that I need. No, are you? Can, I, are, can you help me? Oh my gosh, this place! So, Y'all are killing me. Y'all are killing me. Seriously. What's going on? Tell me. No what? one seems to want to help me. I'm trying to get glasses. That's all I need. That's all I want. Okay, That's maybe, why I drove. I understand. All the way from Sugarland to come here. Just can help somebody you. help me. I'll Thank help you. you. I'll Please. Help you. Okay, so what, what is it that you're looking for? I'm looking for glasses. I have a prescription. If you don't I mind, have if you don't mind, can I have you need. wear a mask first? That's fine. That's fine. I mean, right. I wish she, sh I wish she gave me a mask from the beginning. I wouldn't have gotten this worked up. I, I understand. Oh my so gosh! Is there any anything particular that you're looking for? Anything I can point you to? Okay, so well, we have a wide selection of glasses starting at seventy nine dollars. A lot of them are fifty percent off. Okay, and well, so, let's look at let's look well, at let some. Let me let me show you some here. So we have uh, everything from Calvin Klein to Versace to Ray-Bans, um, Nike. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Dr. Paul, what's up? Hi, uh, not much. So I actually have the frames that the patient finally choosing. Okay. Uh, she finished choosing these, and I want you to take a chance maybe to look at them and prepare for her. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Dr. Paul, I try to be so professional and not eavesdrop, and you yeah. know, just mind my business, and that's what I was doing in here, but it was very hard to not notice how disrespectful she was, not only to you, but to the rest of the staff. Oh, you're talking about the, the patient? The patient that just oh, left. Okay, she was it. screaming and she... yelling and causing a whole ruckus for no reason. Yeah. Oh, are you guys talking about that woman who yes, just walked out? that disrespectful yeah. lady. Oh, she is unbelievable. Did you see how she was talking to her? I couldn't it, see, but I heard. It was but, insane. Yeah, she 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 was a little loud. And I, and a I, little? Uh, a lot. A lot, a lot yeah. yeah. But, so, I mean, it's, you know, you, you still got to take care of them, right? So... I, I don't know how you how how to even deal with a customer like that or a patient like that. Yeah. I mean, they're in everybody's face. They're just rude, disrespectful. Yeah. Aren't like, you I, afraid that she's gonna undermine your authority too? What was going through your mind? I would have been yelling at her. 
how did you calm her down? Yeah. I noticed you do that with so many patients. Right. Like, so the kids, everybody. Yeah, all yeah. these years, like, people come in here just losing their head, and for some reason, you manage to just calm them down. Like, yeah. So what I do is, um, in terms of people coming in, sometimes they just have different challenges, different problems that they bring in from the outside world, right? And so when they come in here, for me, I try not to let it influence me. I personally believe that you shouldn't let anyone steal your joy. So I don't let anybody steal my joy. It, it's my joy. I want to own it. And so whatever happens from the outside, I don't let it affect me. I don't let it take my peace. I don't let it steal my joy. And, and I think that's, that's the best way we can deal with one another is we all have to be able to help each other and not take things personal when someone comes in with you know so many different things or maybe they come in upset, right? And so I want to be the one to, to dictate how I feel and how my day's gonna go, and I don't let anybody steal my joy. I refuse. Man, I I hear what you're saying, but there's some people <laughs> who you just, I don't even know how to start addressing it. Like, the way she comes in here, she's in everybody's face, just, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I want to start yelling right back at her. Right, but that wouldn't like, help. That would not get you very far, because then it just becomes a yelling match, right? So I think um, there's, there's a way to handle those situations, and so if we definitely can talk about it. You guys want some water, drink? Sure. What I'll have a like? water, please. Water? Yeah. Uh, I'll take a soda. You okay. got one? You give me a second. I'm, let me go get you some drinks, and uh, we're okay. going to talk about this really quick, all right? Okay. All right. Man, Marcus, I thought I was coming to learn about optometry, all but right. doc, all we're right. just talking about you. He's yeah. over here teaching right. me so life lessons. Here's the water you wanted? Yes. Thank you. All, all right. Water. Thank you. My yeah. favorite drink. Yeah, I, I know you like Cokes, and so I... Uh... Yeah, we were talking about how that woman came in here. Oh! Oh! What is oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What is this? What kind of soda what did you give him? So, uh, what is this? Somebody shook this bottle. Well, so, okay, I was uh, trying to illustrate a point for you, uh, Marcus, and Rachel as well. And so sometimes people <laughs> can be like that. Like what? Explosive? The difference between a Coke and a water. So I actually shook both of those. And so she opened it, she drank it, no problems. And sometimes people can bottle up a lot and they get shaken and sometimes fireworks, right? So I, uh, I actually, I apologize. I didn't mean to <laughs> get it all over your clothes like that. But I, I do want you to know this is how some people are. And they bottle it in, they hold it in, they're just ready to explode as soon as somebody even touches them, right? And so what I want you guys to, to remember is you should be like, kind of like water. Regardless of the external situations, no matter how much I shook that up, yeah, nothing, right? And so it was still good water, quenched your thirst. Nothing, nothing came of it. You didn't get messy like uh, our poor friend Marcus here. But but I wanted you to see the point. So some people are like that, and the way you handle it doesn't have to be the way a coke just is ready to explode, right? So when people come and try to steal your peace, like I said, I refuse to let anybody steal my joy. And nobody's going to steal my peace, and you have a nice day. I'm never going to forget this day. I can't wait to tell my friends about what happened at work today, because that was insane. Yeah, I'm not going to forget that. That I mean, he has a point. Uh, it doesn't matter what comes at you. It really just depends on what you've got inside. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I think you're about to get it again. Wow. Yeah. I, unbelievable. That's very good illustration. Very good. Yeah.